There is one product that made my whole process of creating mixed media pieces completely different. It added light and lightness and beautiful character to my works. So this product is white Ecoline paint. Ecolines are watercolors, liquid watercolors, transparent, very vibrant and lovely to work with. But white Ecoline is slightly different because it's completely opaque. It's like a very thin acrylic paint, but once you thin down acrylic paint with water or some medium, it loses its opacity if it was opaque to start with, of course. This paint is ultra, super opaque, and uh, there's just no substitute for that, in my opinion. Uh, I love to do three things with it. First thing is to spill. I love spilling this white Ecoline paint from the top of my canvas, so it goes down and creates a lovely, dreamy uh, look. You can water it down a little bit so it flows even better, but even as it is, straight from the jar, it's gonna be beautiful to work with. So that's my first way. Number two will be to make splatters with it. I love taking my old paintbrush or an old toothbrush, uh, dip it in this paint and just spray all over my work. Especially good for your craft Christmassy and winter projects because it looks like snow. It just adds this contrast. It just adds this very subtle lightness to your work. It's really worth trying. If you use a toothbrush, you're gonna get very fine splatters. If you use, for example, a, a pen and a nib and hold it right above your work or your canvas, you're going to get bigger splatters. So this is your choice. I love both. Number three, will be to paint with it. I guess this is how this paint, what this paint was intended to be. It was intended to be used with a paintbrush and a little bit of water on paper. So yeah, this is a good idea. Uh, I love that. I love using my big synthetic round paintbrush to create some big puddles of this paint on my work, especially if the background is a little bit darker because this is opaque. Uh, I can later tap off the excess of the paint once it's a little drier with a kitchen towel and that creates just like a lovely dreamy look. You gotta try, it's a really nice technique. I guess that if you want, you could uh, replace this paint to some extent with a spray acrylic paint in a tin, you know, like for graffiti. Uh, but. Uh, you won't be able to use it with a paintbrush. You won't be able to get this dreamy watercolory look on your works because of course in a tin you have a watered down acrylic. This is a product to go for if you are lacking some contrast, some character in your works. Really play with it, experiment. Remember to shake it very well or even stir it with a little stick or the uh, other end of your paintbrush because uh, there is a sediment at the bottom, so you really need it uh, to be stirred before you use it, so it becomes more liquidy. But it's a fabulous product to work with. I really encourage you to try it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more mixed media tips and advice.